Hey everybody, it's Tom Christie on my way to the Ohio Decoy Show. So on a road trip from Nebraska to Ohio. It's going to be in Independence, Ohio. And I just thought it might be a good idea to put a, a short video together to show snippets of what a decoy competition is like in case you haven't been to one. Uh, this has always been a great show. There are a lot, will be a lot of people I know here. That's a big part of decoy shows to me is gathering with people that share a similar passion and kind of renewing friendships and catching up. And I also brought some birds to compete with, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but competition has always been a, a great way for me to improve what I do. It's not for everybody. Some people would prefer not to compete, and I get that. But if you do uh, have a competitive spirit and you want to test yourself against other carvers, it's a great way to learn and to improve what you do by observing other people's work, by talking to other carvers, and most people are willing to share techniques, and just by seeing other birds in comparison with the decoy that you've put together, or decoys. So anyway, I'll keep this short, uh, but I'll check in later at the show, and hopefully this will be helpful. Talk to you later. This is the Friday night meet and greet, buy and sell kind of a cocktail party where carvers can put their birds in that they're willing to sell and collectors can take a look at them and have a chance to purchase those decoys uh, if, if the two agree on a sale price. So it, it's a nice activity to get together and kick things off. This is kind of a walkthrough of the vendor area, which was outstanding. A lot of decoys for sale. Um, but also a lot of materials and supplies. There's a couple of young guys enjoying the show. Uh, Brad Ketrick had a ton of Tupelo there, and I took some home with me. But you can see there, there are knives, there are carving, carving equipment. There's taxidermy examples there. Beautiful work by Tim Schloss. Deb Schmidlin had a beautiful display of Jim's birds and just to have the chance to look at those up close and pick those decoys up, uh, quite a privilege. There's also a vintage decoy area and uh, just a few views from that area of the show. These are all in separate rooms, so you kind of go around the show and enjoy each uh, segment separately old-time decoys. I love the old-time decoys and just having a chance to view those up close along with these views of the old hunt clubs and uh, just, a, just a great part of the decoy show to have that heritage along with the contemporary decoys. This is moving into the contemporary decoy area. Some of the competition entries in the, oh, these are IWCA birds. And uh, I'm just doing a quick walkthrough of here, not trying to pause on individual decoys, but just to give you a flavor for the type of decoys that are there. This was after the judging was done, so these birds have ribbons on them. These were the decorative best of show winners. That's Pat Godden's beautiful blue wing teal hen. And then Anthony Donato had a great ruddy duck, and John Jones had a beautiful harlequin. I got the chance to judge that category. Uh, and it was it was great seeing those birds. This is just some more of the entries. Just give you a flavor for the type of entries. And uh, these were the best of show winners in the IWCA decoy contest. Pat Godden won with that Drake Mallard. Just kind of going down the table. Again, this is after the judging has been done. Just wanted to show you a few of the entries. I did pretty well with the hen mallard that I had made for the show. This is the palm frond area and just wanted to give you a flavor for the palm fronds that were there. These are all made out of palm, 
palm frond material, and it's really a creative category. Del Herbert won best of show in that category. There's a palm frond. You can see the shape of the frond. The, these are the miniatures. And uh, again, I'm not zoning in on these. Just wanted to give you a flavor for the show. Here, here is the judging crew for the decorators. Here is a shot of uh, a lot of the carvers that were there. This is a shot of some of the the uh, judging that's going on in the working decoy category. That's IWCA. Shot of good friends and world champions that were there. This is at night in the rooms, and it's a, it's a fun part of the show. You just get to go around and uh, talk to people and meet people and greet. This was a painting contest. There's Pat Godden, 17-time world champion painting a decoy is a timed painting contest, and it's a lot of fun to see these uh, carvers and painters do their thing in a timed contest. Now, this is on Sunday. This is the working bird decoy area, and they, they hold this in the pool, and there are rigs and also individual decoys. There's John Jones and Harold. And there's the crowd that was watching the uh, decoy judging it was going as it was going on. These uh, decoys are judged on how they project from a distance. They have to be durable. They have to be real working birds. And they're judged on how they float, how stable they are. Um, and here's a shot of the top diver, the top goose in confidence, and the top puddle duck there. Well, that's a wrap on the Ohio Decoy Show. I'm on my way home on the drive back to Nebraska. Had a fantastic time. Hopefully this video gives you a little bit of the flavor. It doesn't cover all of the, the pieces that were there or the categories that were uh, there of competition, but I just wanted to give you a highlight of what it's like at a decoy show or a wildfowl carving show and the Ohio Decoy Carvers and Collectors Association, ODCCA show, is uh, kind of my home show, and they have been at it a long time. They ran a very uh, organized show, and it was so great to reunite with carving friends that I've known for 30 years. We live in different parts of the country, but it's a great opportunity to gather together. We share it. A passion of wildfowl carving and that gives us common ground doesn't matter where we come from or what we do for a living we're all uh, carvers or collectors so a lot of fun there and I also wanted to give a shout out to the new people that I met that introduced themselves that have been watching the YouTube channel videos I really appreciate that it was great to have a chance to meet some of you face to face and uh, your comments are very encouraging to me, so I plan to keep keep giving this a try. Carving is a pretty solitary hobby uh, or job, if you will, and uh, getting together, networking, sharing tips, techniques, uh, talking to vendors, it, it's all very valuable. And get getting some critiques on your birds. I, I had some critiques on the three entries that I took. I did pretty well with the entries, but I didn't win any best of shows, and I always want to know, well, what, what could I do better? So if you have a little bit of a thick skin, and you have a judge that you respect, uh, like I do, several of them, get a critique. You know, help you make your next bird better. Sometimes it helps you improve the bird you're on. All right, I made it back from the Ohio show safe and sound. Long drive, but glad to be back home. I wanted to close the video by sharing two special prizes that I got at the show. Uh, this first one was from Bonds Bellino, and uh, he, it's a Bondo spreader. And Bonds and his wife came up to me at the show and said, hey, Tom, if you don't know about this, it's called a Bondo spreader. They're not expensive, 
but he said, I notice you're using your screwdriver to uh, mix Bondo, and they do have these inexpensive things that'll save your screwdrivers, and he said you can trim this up and use it. I do plan on using it, thanks to Bonds, and uh, we, got it, we had a good laugh about that, but I do appreciate it, and I want to share that with the group. The other special prize I got at the show was this award. It's called the Goat Award, and they've got a shiny gold goat. Tom Matus and a bunch of the carvers presented this to me. Best decoy video on YouTube to Father Tom Christie. That's kind of an inside joke, but uh, that's the kind of fun we have at decoy shows, and I will cherish this uh, forever. I'll get you a close-up of that. And I'll put that right next to my six world championship trophies. And I appreciate it. Hey, until next time, Tom Christie signing off. It's time to relax, get back to carving. Had a great time at the show.